I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you an excellent question on rate of change. The question here is, a spotlight at a school dance floor is fastened to a wall 8 meters above the dance floor. A girl 1.75 meter tall moves away from the wall at a speed of 0.75 meters per second. Part A of this question is, at what rate is the length of the shadow increasing when she is 2 meters from the spotlight? And part B is, how fast is the tip of the shadow moving? Now here we have two related questions from a particular situation, right? So let me show you the situation with the help of a graph. So, so let's say you know, we have a spotlight 8 meters on this wall. Let's say that's the light for us. And uh, there's a girl who's walking away on the dance floor. So the shadow we're talking about, let's say this path is the light. And uh, let me make, let's say this is the girl somewhere here. Okay. Now what we are given here is that the the spotlight is eight meters let me write eight meters on the wall and the height of the girl is 1.75 we're also given that a girl 1.75 meter tall moves away from the wall at a speed of 0 0.75 meters per second so let's say she's moving at a speed of so what we'll do here is we'll define some variables let us say uh, from the wall let's say this point is O, the origin the distance of girl is y and then we'll call x as length of the shadow this is the shadow so when we say that a girl 1.75 meter tall moves away from the wall at a speed of 0 0.75 so the distance is increasing so this speed is rate of change of y so we say dy dt equals to 0 0.75 is it okay now at what rate is the length of shadow increasing so shadow here is the distance x Let's see, this is the shadow. We'll call this as the shadow. So you want to find at what rate is the length of the shadow increasing. So that is the change in x. So we have to find dx dt in this situation. When she is 2 meters from the spotlight. right? And part b is how fast is the tip of the shadow changing that means this point this tip of the shadow changing that's the second point so let's keep the distance d as a distance of the tip so let's so, say so the total distance is uh, let's let's call this as capital t okay so the tip is capital t distance away so i hope from the diagram it's very clear that the height of the lamp is 8 meters, height of the girl is 1.75, distance of the girl at any time is y, distance of the tip will be x plus y. Is that okay? So that is how these are all related. Now we need to find in the first case what is uh, what is the rate of what is at what rate is the length of shadow changing length is x so in the first case we need to find what is dx dt in the second case how fast is the tip changing we have to find dt i mean that point with respect to time so that is what we need to find now how can we do it you can always pause the video answer the question try it out and then look into my suggestions now, whenever you have this kind of a situation, you could always use similar triangles, right? So, so what you find from here is that the ratio 
of a small triangle which is x over 1.75 so let me write down what concept we are using we are using similar triangles so we'll compare ratio of sides to get an equation is, is it okay so so the ratio of sides which we are looking into is x over 1.75 the small triangle is equal to the big triangle the length is x plus y right x plus y over 8 got it so if you see the small triangle is similar to the big triangle so the ratio of sides x over 1.75 equals to x plus y over 8 to simplify we can cross multiply so we get 8x equals to 1.75x plus 1.75y correct so multiply with both uh, we can simplify it further by bringing 1.75x to the left we need to find what is dx dt so we get 8x minus 1.75x equals to 1.75y right so that is let's do 8 minus 1.75 is in decimals 6.25 so we get 6.25x equals to 1.75y since we need to find rate of change of x with respect to time we will differentiate with respect to time is it okay so when we differentiate we get dx dt uh, we get 6.25 dx dt so it is implicit differentiation with respect to time we have 1.75 dy dt now let's read it again at what rate is the length of shadow increasing when she is 2 meters from the spotlight? So 2 meters from the spotlight, we are talking horizontal distance, y. So, so y is 2 meters. Well, this equation you can very clearly see is independent of 2 meters. So wherever she is, rate of change will be same, dx dt, right? So. So dx dt, the rate of change of the length of the shadow will be same. So let's figure it this out. We know dy by dt divided is 0 0.75. So if I substitute that, I get dx dt. So I get dx dt equals to 1.75 divided by 6.25 times dy dt, which is given to us as 0.75 is that okay so i've isolated dx dt and substituted the value 0.75 given to us for change in the position girl's position is that okay so now we can calculate this answer so it is 1.75 times 0 0.75 divided by 6.25 equals to in decimals 0 0.21 and the units are meters per second right so meters per second so that is the answer for the very first one is it okay I hope the steps are absolutely clear now we have to find how fast is the tip of the shadow moving tip so we'll take that distance to be T, right so so we'll compare that we'll again write the same equation and uh, okay so let's do this part part B now so the part B is again the same triangle is it okay so this time the smaller triangle is x over 1.75 so we write, rewrite the same thing x over 1.75 equals to total distance will take as t 
x plus y which is correct t total distance because we want to find the rate of change of point t over 8 is it okay big triangle cross multiply we get 8x equals to 1.75 t now if you take the derivative you get 8 times dx dt equals to 1.75 dt t dt is that okay now that gives you the value of dt dt right so since we have lesser space we'll continue on the right side we say rate of change of tip with respect to time is cross multiply 8 divided by 1.75 dx dt dx dt we just found we can substitute this value so we have 8 divided by 1.75 times 0 0.21 is it okay so let's calculate 8 times 0 0.21 divided by 1.75 which is in decimals 0 0.96 meters per second perfect so to find the change in tip of the shadow we have to use what we already got dx dt right so that is how these questions could be solved so i hope in this limited space i've done fairly good job to explain you the concept uh, we'll take a few more questions relating to this topic uh, for you to practice i hope you appreciate it you can always subscribe to my videos and feel free to post questions remember such questions could be solved using similar triangles and when we say length of the shadow, we are meaning with this x. When we say tip, it is that point, And therefore, it should take total distance. Right? Thank you. And all the best.